Hey there, fifth grade. Good to be with you once again. Hope you're having a great day. Um, today we are in language class and we are looking at spelling list 27. So this week we want to study prefixes M, N, Pre, and Un. All right, so the prefixes M, N, and Un uh, mean not and the prefix pre means before, so that will help us in understanding the meaning of our spelling words this week. So um, if you don't have paper and pen out yet, go ahead and pause this video um, to get that out so that you can write these words as I say them. All right, so we have imperfect, impolite, Impatient, improper, inactive, inconvenient, incorrect, inconsiderate, preview, prejudice, Prevent, prefix, prehistoric, unable, uncertain, uncomfortable, unaware, and ungrateful. So let's, um, on the other side of your page, let's write some of these. All right. So number one, a small crack made the cup imperfect, or that is not perfect. Um, number two, it is what to always take the largest piece. So, so this one could be one of two. It could be either impolite or improper. Um, let's use impolite. All right, number three, bears are what during the cold winter months? So I would choose inactive, meaning not active, inactive. All right, next. Um, our teacher was blank when she was blank to keep the class on task. So I would say our teacher was impatient. You have seen me become impatient at times this year. Um, our teacher was impatient when she was unable, not able, to keep the class on task. All right, number five. He was blank that his blank behavior made other people feel blank. Um, so let's say uh, he was unaware or not aware. He was unaware that his, we could use one of three possibilities. We could use impolite or improper or inconsiderate. So let's use improper this time. So he was unaware that his improper behavior made other people feel uncomfortable. Or not. 
not comfortable. All right, six. Professor Singh will what? That the new book about what? Animals before using it in his class. So Professor Singh will preview, or that is view before, Professor Singh will preview that the new book about prehistoric animals before using it in his class. All right, last one. How can we blank, blank against others from happening? So we want to put, how can we prevent prejudice How can we prevent prejudice against others from happening? All right, class, that is our spelling lesson today about prefixes. Um, you have an assignment in Google Classroom that you need to complete. So log into Google Classroom, complete your assignment, and turn it in. All right, you have a great day, and we will see you soon. Bye.